welcome back to uh, another episode here. And yes, I am playing online with Inquisition. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to him. Go ahead and do that. So, what are we doing today? Uh, I think we're just about to go to maybe my house, my little base, and make additions onto that, I guess, or make another base somewhere else. I don't know. Okay. Just spend the entire time playing, just making a giant base. Base building is kind of fun. I like that. Did you build a fire so you could, like, cook your bacon? No, I don't have a fire yet. Do you know how to make one? I think it's just sticks and rocks. Yeah. I don't know. I have to make one. Oh, I didn't get him right in the head. Plus six experience. Yeah, killing killing animals and hunting is really good for experience for some reason. Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't take that many bullets, or it's not hard at all. So. I just I just can't wait till like there's like new animals in the game. Hunting will be like really fun by then. Yeah. And those like animals that can actually attack you, like bears and big animals like that. Oh, that'd be sick. That would yeah, make that would hunting cool. like yeah, that would make hunting really cool. Like like a separate island where it's just animals. No zombies. Yeah, I think they should just make a Thing. You know, there's PEI and then there's Arena. They should make a new game mode just called Survival. And there's no zombies in it. That'd be pretty good. Oh, and you're just playing against people? Yeah. People, and you just need to fend for yourself. And, like, supplies are a lot scarcer. Oh, nice. You and me should, like, join, like, a. Can you like join random servers and then like to start killing people or do you have to like yep. okay that's pretty cool yeah there's uh subreddits on reddit and you can just go there and a lot of people have servers up or if you go to the uh unturned group thing the group the page it shows all the servers that are up or most of the servers that are up and it shows their PvP or PvE. It's that's what I used to go with PvP. Is this your ride? Um, I took this, but it has no fuel. On it. I have a gas can. It's not really that good of a car. It's way too heavy and too slow. It uses up too much gas. Yeah. I don't like it because it's like, yeah, like it's slow. I had gas at my, at my, at, in my world, but I didn't bring it. I have one empty gas can, so. It's gonna be fun filling that tank up. Oh yeah, it takes forever just walking back and forth to like a gas tank. To your car. I just need medical supplies. I don't have that many medical supplies actually. I do have like a bunch of bl uh, bunch of blood bags with me. I don't really usually carry 
any medical supplies. Yeah, I, I got like... I don't like carrying a bunch of um, supplies with me. I usually just keep it all in one spot. But then I'll... I am collecting like a bunch of... Uh, <clears throat> I'm collecting a bunch of antibiotics. And I have like five with me right now. I don't have... I don't have any antibiotics. I just have morphine and raw bacon. Oh, both of my canteens are empty. They were filled before. There's a crossbow over here, if you like the crossbow. Mm. I don't really usually use crossbows. I like the compound bow better. It's a little bit power more powerful actually. Yeah, me too. I like the um I like the close range to the um compound bow. I went with the, um, yeah, I went with the, uh, six times scope with it after, but then after a while I put a red dot sight on it and took the scope off. Uh. It was easy killing zombies with it. Well, before I discovered this multiplayer, I like to kill zombies with bullets. So, but now since I can play yeah. multiplayer, I gotta save up bullets now. I actually just picked up a savage drama. Oh. Uh, Zip breaking off. I don't want to say that. I don't. I don't actually know if the. I think does the savage drum go to. The AK-47? Yeah, it's like the AK type thing. And it's a 75 round civilian grade drum. And it has 42 rounds in it. Are you keeping that? Yeah, I guess so. I have okay. a couple of zebra offs at my house. Alright, where are you at right now? Main road heading west. I don't even know. I don't have a map on me, so I can't tell you the direction, specifically. I memorized the map. It's kind of like in I the back of my head. The map, but I memorized the map, but just not the uh, cardinal directions. Like, when I first discovered the uh, map, um, it was kind of hard reading, like, telling where you are. But then I realized that there was an X on it to show where you were at. Yeah. It will be better if it was like an arrow to show like what direction you're facing. I don't, know, I don't really need that. It's pretty easy to see what direction you're facing just by running. Running in like a direction seeing where you've moved on the map. Oh yeah. Hmm. So we're going to your house or we're going to go to a different one? I guess we can go out of my house. Okay. I just needed to drop some stuff off. Wow, I just missed that zombie. Same here. I tried to power hit him. I have infinite power attacks because of the uh, upgrades. Endurance, full upgrade. Yeah. Everything's full upgraded. I like jumping without using any energy. 
It's amazing. Yeah, and sprinting takes down like one percent a second. So that's really, really slow. I got a pig over here. Sweet. I'm gonna check out the uh, bridge. Alright, did you get the uh, achievement when you get on the bridge? Yeah, like the end of the bridge or end of the road or something. Yeah. yeah. On on the like island, like farther past the bridge, or is he like gonna add that to the map, or is that like a secret thing still? I think it's just gonna stay how it is. Yeah, I, I keep like I keep wondering. Like, if it will ever, like, like, be the, be like that. Like, that whole area over there that you can't go to. It might, might do something in the future. But, um... Not hundred percent sure. What can I do with moldy water? You can drink it, but that will give you sickness. Reds. Do you have per purification, purification water, or tablets? Uh, yeah, I just used them on one bottle of water. Zombies don't really care about me anymore. Oh yeah, like, like ever I since I walk right up on them. Yeah, ever since I fully increased my my sneak, I was literally like able to walk by a military zombie without being noticed. I actually wanted to try the sneaking out, so I actually did my best to sneak to the uh, military base. And I was walking around the military base and sneaking around, and I looted the whole thing with only killing one one uh, military zombie in it. Mm. I was proud of myself. Oh yeah, this way. I honestly don't really know what happened up here. Because there's so many uh, foundations here. I don't even know what happened. It just kind of was here. <laughs> uh did you play like online? Do you like play online with people with um sync and all that? Oh yeah, I do. Like with random people or just with friends? Random people, friends, anyone in between. No. Just put it out there on the Steam page, on Reddit, whatever, and mm. anyone can join. Yeah, usually like when I like when I wanted to play multiplayer, I usually like took all my rare stuff and just storage it up at my house. So, cuz I don't want like don't wanna, I don't want to like lose everything and lose XP. So, I mean, you only lose half XP when you die. So, I I guess it wouldn't be that hard to get it all back. Nah, but it will take a lot of zombie killing though. Zombies are like slower on multiplayer. I 
not that they're slower, I think that the game just is a bit laggier. Uh. Yeah, because I have to, like, back up and power hit to kill one of them, but now I could just, like, stand still and just power hit them. Yeah. I found a medic if you want it. I'm good. I've got bandages and stuff like that. I have 27 bandages, two blood packs, and a medic on me right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't even have that much in my base. Like, I just started started tearing clothes apart, making them into rags. Uh, and then I had a bunch of rags. I Then I had two rags to make bandages. And then I had about ten. And then I just started collecting bandages without using them. Vaccines, those are good. <clears throat> but like, if you like, one on me. if you fully increase like your warrior, then they only take like five health from you. So. Yeah. Did you check the watchtower down here? Uh, I've checked three watchtowers, including this one. Okay, cause I checked one of them out. Or wait, did I? Yeah, I think I did, yeah. Here's some civilian night vision goggles. Yeah, I found those, but I don't really need civilian NVGs. Would you wear, um, military ones? I would only, yeah, I would only turn on my <clears throat> night vision goggles sometimes, just so that, just so people could see while watching, What's happening, yeah. well, because YouTube, I'm gonna go back to the base, so. alright, yeah, I'll follow. So I didn't really read the um the latest update that we got besides like a few things. Did anything else get added into the game? Uh well the uh Desert Falcon is now a one shot kill the zombies if you shoot them right between the eyes like the head or area. Okay. I it yeah, to be a two shot kill. Yeah, I got the Desert Falcon on me right now. I've got two at the base. That's a weird lighting glitch. I don't know, that's just shadows reflecting off trees and the house. Oh, I see you crashed. The car right there, the ambulance car. Oh yeah, I just let that roll down the hill. So are you still searching for generators or do you have enough now? Uh, I'm still searching for generators. I need all the generators. I wish you could like make generators. Like having... Like you can't, but that would be a nice addition to the game. Yeah. 
just get like a crap ton of scrap metal and something else to make generators I need more space to store stuff this is crazy So you want to go to the new town? Sure. This is yeah. my house. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Okay. Oh. Did you have this paper here in front of your door or is that new uh, oh yeah there's a there's papers everywhere hidden oh I have like two or three uh. I think he I think like notes were added into the like the game so People who couldn't like talk to each other just had notes. Or yeah, there is the enter thing too, so Yeah. That's what I would use. So like your um so like the enter is the enter like if you were playing with a bunch of people is the um is that like private so only you and someone else could read it that or is like everyone could see it everyone can see it yeah so the notes are more secrety are you still at your base yeah I'm just running outside um, placing lights I need more lights. You mining rocks? Hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, I saw that your this rock was stuck in your house, so I just had to get it out the way. Mm. I lit. I I literally can't see any zombies while I zoom in into the uh, town. But as soon as we walk over there, there's gonna be like a whole crowd of them. Yeah, I should increase the range that zombies spawn in, or the aggro distance, or whatever. Yeah. And plus, like. When I zoom in with the scope, it's like so. It's like so still. Like it's so. Yeah, there's no sway, but I don't think they should add sway into the game. That's unnecessary. I wonder where the Waffle House is. When I first checked out this um, town, I was actually trying to find the Waffle House. What do you mean the Waffle House? Like there's this big sign that says Waffle House. Oh yeah. I think that's just like advertisement for something. No one will ever know. Nope. Do 
and how to build a garage door? Uh, I do know how to make one, but I don't really think I need one. Yeah, I might destroy my garage door and make a metal one. If you can make one, I don't know if you can though. Like you might have to get like the garage door and just add scrap metal to it. Probably. Random shutter. It's perfect. Yeah, I fell off your house. I have a lot of, I have a lot of pale berries and red berries. You could crush them up. <clears throat> you could crush them up, and then they'll be good berries. How do you crush them up? You need like a hammer or something? Oh no, you get um two of the same berries, and you get stone. Here, I could give you this, um, I could give you this rock right here. I don't have any stone on me. I'm on my front porch. Okay, let me craft. And then two of the same berries and one stone will crush up. Let me get right here. There's some stone. Alright, so how many, how many stone do I need to crush one up though? Just one. Like one rock gave me three stones. But I don't need any stones. Crush red berries. And they are completely healthy. If you crush up pink mm. berries, then that those are the healthiest ones for you. They'll get rid of your illness or radiation. Whatever you call them. Alright. Hmm. Nothing happened to it. I was like half expecting me to get some sort of horrible disease. Nah. I do have some scrap metal though. Probably not enough to do anything with it, but... Yeah, like, in my opinion, I think making a stone, making the stone house is kind of easier than making, um, um, a wooden house. Because, like, instead of intertwining, um, logs and sticks, you could just, like, put boards and rocks together and make stuff much easier like walls and pillars are easier to make when you have stone but that's my opinion so i think they're the same amount of difficulty well yeah like stone is kind of hard to get so and it's really heavy Like, I'll have to destroy one rock and then make it into stone and then craft whatever I need and then get to the next rock and then so on and so on. And then I have to disconnect, reconnect for the stones to reappear. Yeah, that's the most annoying part, I think. Just for everything to reappear again. Alright, so I'm going to start... 
I want to start heading down. There's a pink truck down here. I might run some zombies over with it. With no I guess. Know, I like getting the experience. I have 642 experience right now. And I want more. I got like 700. But what's like what's the achievement? Don't you have to have like 10,000 experience to get an, an achievement? Or is that just a thousand? That's just a thousand experience. Uh. You just, uh, once you reach a thousand experience, then you can just do exactly what you're gonna do before. But the actual achievement is just to reach a thousand experience in total, not just have it in your inventory or whatever. Yeah. You want a barrette? Is that what it's called? Yeah, barrette. Um, it's like a the rare. Hat or the, the hat? I don't really want a hat. Oh no, it's a um, beret pistol. Oh, the beretti. Yeah. It is, I think it's supposed to be pronounced beretti. Beretti. But in real life, it's the. But in real life, it's the beretta. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was called a beret or beret. Man, beret is a hat. Swift oh, man. I got hit by a zombie. So maybe. Later today, we could join a random server, or tomorrow. That'd be fun. You can show me the ropes of playing online. Sure. And I also have Daisy standalone, if you have that, or, or I also have Daisy the mod. Yeah, I've, I've seen a little bit of that game, but... Um... I don't really want to pay for that game. I'm saving up money for other things. But Stay uh, DayZ is a good game. I like it. Sounds really cool. Well, that was the best use of the pistol. Oh god. They all crowded me. Oh, one behind you. For some reason, like, when I get hit, I don't get, like, red. Like, you know, when you get hit on single player, then you get the little red thing. Like, your free screen flashes red. Yeah. Flash red. I think they removed that in one of the updates or whatever. Because I don't have that either. Oh. Well, I haven't been hit by a zombie in forever, so. Yeah. Besides, now. The zombies were mauling me up, and I couldn't even tell if they were eating me or not. I hate when zombies sneak up on me without making any noise. Happened to me so many times. Yeah. That's the most annoying thing about zombies. Like, I'm trying to kill, like, a few zombies and then one sneaks up on me. And then the, the bastard, he guts me. Sucks. The 
zombies are going to be zombies. You like watching like zombie movies and things like that? Um, I mean, I watch some zombie movies, but I don't really watch them anymore. They just get so unrealistic. Just kind of stupid. Oh yes, that was when I built a house there, and the house got destroyed by a bunch of zombies. Nice. I was renting it out to another person too. Definitely didn't just waste any ammo there. If you guys want to read that note though, you guys can pause the video. That's a pretty yeah, long note. Very interesting note. No, but, but it's not very interesting. It seems like really dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic, yeah. Military bullets if you want those. I can't really find any good use for them. I like civilian bullets a lot more. I have five on me right now, just from going through the town. I think I have like 16 in my base. Nice. Like civilian bullets, like go into my Timberwolf, my Lapua magazines. Uh, no, I think those are military. But military ammo doesn't work for anything with me. Hmm. They're like they, I like they use um. There's some use to me. Do you play single player or do you play multiplayer? Both. I mean, I built the base in single player and then I opened it up to multiplayer. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to end that episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and like. And um, if you guys want this series to keep going, then just say so. And goodbye.